Today's case is one of the most notorious cases here in Korea. What makes it notorious is that the victims are all females and they are entangled with their own clothes. This case began three decades ago before it has been solved in Hwasong area. Hwasong is such a rural area before where in that time the houses are scattered among a number of villages between forested hills and rice paddies. Actually, this Hwasong serial case inspired director Pung Jun Hu to make a film entitled Memories of Murder. I saw that movie years ago and it's perfectly made, I swear. So if you're curious about this case guys, you better take a deep breath because this serial killer is just someone who can who I can't take in. So the case happened back from 1986 to 1991. Begins to take place when a group of kids from the village went into the grass to catch dragonflies. And what they encountered is actually unexpected because they thought that it's just a garbage or something, something that is burnt. But actually they found out that it was a dead person. So the first case was on September 14, 1986. A 71 years old woman, Miss E. Wanim, a resident who lived nearby. The victim was found dead with the underwear and both socks taken off. The traces found on the crime scene shows the physical resistance. According to the detectives, the cause of death of this old lady was suffocation by strangulation. A month later, second crime takes place. It's on October 20, 1986, and the victim was 25 years old, Miss Pak Kyun Suk and she was found dead in the waterway three days ago she went missing the cause of death is also same it's suffocation by strangulation she had no clothes on and her clothes are found in the crime scene her handbag was also found but there was no money in it and that the killer seemed to have used stockings to tie the victim up a serial killing case that consecutively took place in one area so as you know guys that this is a rural area so of course the, the bus stop in your house is kind of far away so the people usually have to walk even a mile to get back home so obviously killer would take actions at nights when the females will be walking alone in secluded areas about 50 days also after the second case at the nearby village a 25 years old gun missing so the third case take place on december 12 1986 named Miss Kwon, a 25 years old who got off the bus, mysteriously vanished. After being missing for approximately 130 days, Miss Kwon found dead. She was found on her girdle stuffed on her mouth and also she had her underwear on her head. At the time, the head of investigation, Seung Kyun Ha, said the clues they only had was that victims' clothing, for instance, their bra, underwear or stockings were ripped and used as tools to tie up the victim plus no killer stops found in a crime scene plus the locations he chose are just nearby to each other so on december 14 1986 fourth case take place miss E. K. Suk, 23 years old, went missing and is found dead in a pile of haystacks 200 meters away from the road. Miss Lee reportedly wore her red two-piece dress and was on her way home after meeting with fiancé's parents. So her underwear was covering her head again, the killer's pattern, and the underwear was inside out. Well, this is kind of weird because why would the killer took time to you know flip the underwear inside out <laughs> in addition she found with a parasol so probably she was killed while raining the time and that a lot of blood found in the handle as well so it shows that nanlaban pa talaga si miss e k so, so on january 1987 19 years old miss hong jin young became the fifth victim and once again the murder took place along the local road now this is young seriously so may 2 of 1987 sixth case happened the victim was pak Eun-ju, 29 years old and was a bit strange because it take place quite distant from the usual crime scene the killer used haystacks and tree branches to heat the victim's body and used their clothing to tie them up and takes the clothes off and puts them back on weird right I know. Next, September 7, 1988, the seventh case takes place and victim's name is Ang Ki Soon, 54 years old. How cruel is it? They are just grandmas. 
After a year and four months gap, the killer murdered again and more brutal than ever. This one, guys, is really crazy. And on the seventh murder, guys, he abused the victim in a horrifying way. Imagine, she is 54 years old. She was murdered maybe by strangulation because that's the killer's pattern. And what's horrifying, guys, is that it says here in my research, in my Codigo, that they also found six to seven pieces of peach from inside her body. Imagine that. But then, guys, at the estimated time of the seventh murder case, there is actually a clue. Because at the time, there was a man desperately stopped the bus driver near the crime scene. So the bus driver thought that this could be the killer. So knowing that you have a passenger who could be a killer, so of course, you should be acting cool, calm, and collected. Because if you will react, I'm sure the killer would re would somehow kill you. So based on the statements made by the bus driver, his shoes and pants had mud all over him and that the killer has a slender face with sharp looking eye. His height was around 165 to 170 centimeter with a skinny body in his mid 20s. After the seventh case, guys, three more murder cases take place in Hwasong. Eight victim, September 16, 1988, Park Sang-hee, 14 years old. Ninth victim, November 15, 1990, it was Kim Mi-jung, 14 years old also. She was a junior high school at the time who just got off from the bus. And the last victim was on April 3, 1991, Miss Kun Su-san, age 63 years old. In addition to the bus driver's narrative, guys, he said that they had a conversation with that man whom he thought the killer. He said that the suspected killer or the passenger was fluent in cursing and also spitting on the bus floor. But then when the bus was driving to the checkpoint, that man, the passenger, hid his body deep inside the seat. And the witness also said that that man, the passenger, borrowed his lighter. Mr. Kang said he lit his lighter and put it close to him and he lit his cigarette and his hands were not rough from farming or anything so it was soft and a smooth hand. So with his narration guys it shows that the killer is really young. So back in 1980s guys I'm sure it was a time before surveillance cameras or phone tracking and before DNA evidence was widely available police had to try to really rely on other creative ways. They even made a scarecrow and put the note in there that says, turn yourself in or your limbs will rot and you will die. You will be caught by someone, something, and you will die. Now let's talk about the killer. Knowing his pattern of killing guys clearly shows that this killer is really difficult to understand. Well, we all know that serial killers are smart. His unique characteristic about the murder is that the killer used the victim's underwear to cover up the face of the victim. So why do you think he's doing this? For me, I think it's more a case of making uh, the victim terribly fearful because covering their face means you can't see what's happening to you. And the other reason maybe is that simply the killer is just humili humiliating the victim. As you can see in the picture, guys, the victims tied up with their own clothes. That means it was done after the victims were already dead. You may ask, why did he do that even the victims are dead? For me, I think it's just an exhibition for himself. Also, his psychopathic tendencies was evident because it's too obvious that he don't empathize at all to the victim. Even it's very old, woman there are actually creepy stories or theories about this case that could send shiver down to your spine first is that the killing take place at rainy nights and at the same time someone was requesting this same song on the radio before the murder took place so it was said that if the killer and the requester of that song is just the same person that means that the song triggered him on something like maybe childhood memory or abuse or maybe his mom abuses him or any female that could make him target women but what shocks me guys is the killing stopped on 1991. No murders happened after then and unfortunately the case went 
gold. Basically, psychopath killers do not stop killing unless something happened to them. People that time thought that maybe that killer was dead or in the mental hospital or maybe jailed in another crime or maybe just move out in different country or different city. FYI, the case closed back on 2006 after the statute of limitation was expired. So Korea only have 15 years of statute of limitation. So after that, the crime will be quits. Even if the suspect is found 15 years later, he or she cannot be prosecuted. But wait, here's the plot twist, guys, because the investigators were able to crack the lead of this serial killing case. And that thanks to the DNA technology. What's amazing is that even if the evidence are stored years ago, a DNA test is still possible. That means we can still catch the killer. So in 2019 guys, they tested the DNA of Wasson killer and found out that there was some male DNA evidence that stained in victim's underwear. So they got those DNA evidence and tested it and guessed what? They found a match! And what's mind-blowing guys is he is already serving a life imprisonment for rape and murder of his sister-in-law. He's really criminal. The killing of his sister-in-law back in 1994 was a huge news in Korea and nobody knew that he was a suspect in Hwasung serial murder case. Wow. So he is now 57 years old and the police interrogated him and said that we found your DNA evidence in Hwasung murder victim. Well, he first denied this but later on he confessed to all 10 of the Hwasung murders and 4 others that police did not provide details on. So as I've said, even Mr. Lee confesses about it, about the Hwasung killings, still he cannot be prosecuted because of the expiration of the statute of limitation. But What's good news is at least he is serving a life imprisonment for that rape and murder in his sister-in-law. May he rot in hell.